Good morning, children. Let us start with Standard Five English, Unit Nine, Poem. Sing a song of people. So let us read the poem once. Everybody seems to be in such a hurry these days. I wonder why. So let us start. Sing a song of people walking fast or slow. People in the city, up and down they go. People on the sidewalk, people on the bus, people passing, passing, in back and front of us, people on the subway, underneath the ground, people riding taxis, round and round and round, people with their hats on. Going in the doors, people with umbrellas, when it rains and pours, people in tall buildings and in stores below, riding elevators, up and down they go, people walking singly, people in a crowd. People saying nothing, people talking loud, people laughing, smiling, grumpy people too, people who just hurry and never look at you. Sing a song of people who like to come and go. Sing of city people who see but never know. Now let us learn the new words and their meanings. Your first one, subway. Underground passage for people to cross. Second, underneath, <coughs> below. Third, elevators, lift. Fourth, grumpy, ill-tempered. Answer the following, question one. Which modes of transport do the people use to move around in the city? Answer 1. In the city, people use cars, taxis, buses, trains, trams, rickshaws, etc. to move around. I repeat, in the city... People use cars, taxis, buses, trains, trams, rickshaws, etc. to move around. Question 2. What are the things that the people carry with them while moving around? Answer 2. While moving around, the people carry bags, briefcases, suitcases, umbrellas, etc. I repeat, while moving around, the people carry bags, briefcases, suitcases, umbrellas, etc. Question 3. Where all do you find these very busy people? Answer 3. We find all these busy people on roads, on bus stops, on sidewalks, in markets, etc. I repeat, we find all these busy people on roads, on bus stops, on sidewalks, in markets, etc. Question 4. Where have you seen crowds of people? Answer 4. We have seen crowds of people at railway stations, bus stands, shopping malls, stadium, cinema halls, fairs, etc. I repeat, we have seen crowds of people at railway stations, bus stands, shopping malls, stadium, 
cinema halls fairs etc question 5 why do you think all these people are in a hurry answer 5 all these people are in a hurry because they have to do many things and they have to go long distances i repeat all these people are in a hurry because they have to do many things and they have to go long distances now we need to write the opposites of the following words your first one slow opposite will be fast back will be front below above loud quiet up down tall short crowd single go come so now let us read and listen to these two poems and what they are trying to say and what are the things that the village child and the city child like so here you can see children there are two poems one is about a village child and one is about a city child so what the village child wants and what the city child wants so the places where they are living and what they wish they should have so let's start with the village child my home is a house near a wood i'd live in a street if i could i do wish someone lived near there's no one to play with at all the trees are so high and so tall and i should be lonely for hours where it is not for the birds and the flowers now let us start with the city child i live in a city in a street it is crowded with traffics and feet there are buses and motors and trams i wish there were meadows and lambs the houses all wait in a row there is smoke wherever that i go i don't like the noises i hear i wish there were woods very near so the village child says that he is living in the wood and he wants to live in a street where he is living in the woods means in the forest there is nothing there are no people he is alone the whole day there is no one to play there are only tall trees and only the birds and flowers all around and the city child is saying that he is living in a street he wants to live in the woods he says that there is always noise around him and he wants only silence the village child is in the silence and he wants a noisy place the city child is in the noisy place so he wants something very silent around him and he wishes i that he, uh, if there were some forest and woods where he could go and stay in that silence so this is what both the poems try to say what the village child wants and what the city child wants so dear children i hope you have understood all the question answers and exercises and uh, you do not need to learn this village child and city child by heart this is just for your knowledge that what the child living in a city longs for and what a child living in a city wants so i hope you have understood so thank you and have a nice day